Section 2 of The Promulgation of Universal Peace, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Abu Jalal. The Promulgation of Universal Peace, Volume 1, by Abdul Baha Abbas. Section 2. 3. April 12th, 1912, at 39 West 67th Street, New York. Studio of Miss Phillips. Notes by John G. Grundy. I give you greeting in love and unity. The affairs of this world are to be accounted as nothing compared to the joy and heavenly happiness of meeting the friends of God. It is to experience this great joy and blessing that I have come here, although weary from my long voyage upon the sea. Tonight I am in greatest happiness, looking upon the concourse of God. Your meeting here is surely an evidence that you are upholding the cause of God that you are aiding and assisting in establishing the kingdom of God. Therefore, the culmination of my happiness is to look upon your faces and realize that you have been brought together by the power of the blessed perfection, Baha'u'llah. In this meeting, you are upholding his standard and assisting his cause. Therefore, I behold in you the making of a goodly tree upon which divine fruits will appear to give sustenance to the world of humanity. With hearts set aglow by the fire of the love of God and spirits refreshed by the food of the heavenly spirit, you must go forth as the disciples nineteen hundred years ago, quickening the hearts of men by the call of glad tidings, the light of God in your faces, severed from everything save God. Therefore, order your lives in accordance with the first principle of the divine teaching, which is love service to humanity is service to god let the love and light of the kingdom radiate through you until all who look upon you shall be illumined by its reflection be as stars brilliant and sparkling in the loftiness of their heavenly station do you appreciate the day in which you live this is the century of the blessed perfection this is the cycle of the light of his beauty this is the consummate day of all the prophets these are the days of seed sowing these are the days of tree planting the bountiful bestowals of god are successive he who sows a seed in this day will behold his reward in the fruits and harvest of the heavenly kingdom this timely seed when planted in the hearts of the beloved of god will be watered by showers of divine mercy and warmed by the sunshine of divine love its fruitage and flower shall be the solidarity of mankind perfection of justice and praiseworthy attributes of heaven manifest in humanity. All who sow such a seed and plant such a tree according to the teachings of Baha'u'llah shall surely witness this divine outcome in the degrees of its perfection and will attain unto the good pleasure of His Highness, the Merciful One. Today, the nations of the world are self-engaged occupied with mortal and transitory accomplishments 
consumed by the fires of passion and self self is dominant enmity and animosity prevail nations and peoples are thinking only of their worldly interests and outcomes the clash of war and din of strife are heard among them but the friends of the blessed perfection have no thoughts save the thoughts of heaven and the love of god therefore you must without delay employ your powers in spreading the effulgent glow of the love of god and so order your lives that you may be known and seen as examples of its radiance you must deal with all in loving kindness in order that this precious seed entrusted to your planting may continue to grow and bring forth its perfect fruit the love and mercy of god will accomplish this through you if you have love in your own heart the doors of the kingdom are opened the lights of the sun of truth are shining the clouds of the divine mercy are raining down their priceless jewels the zephyrs of a new and divine springtime are wafting their fragrant breaths from the world invisible know ye then the value of these days awake ye to the realization of this heavenly opportunity strive with all the power of your souls your deeds actions and words to assist the spread of these glad tidings and descent of this merciful bounty you are the reality and expression of your deeds and actions if you abide by the precepts and teachings of the blessed perfection the heavenly world and ancient kingdom will be yours happiness eternal love and life everlasting the divine bounties are flowing each one of you has been given the opportunity of becoming a tree yielding abundant fruits this is the springtime of baha'u'llah the verdure and foliage of spiritual growth are appearing in great abundance in the gardens of human hearts know ye the value of these passing days and vanishing nights strive to attain a station of absolute love one toward another by the absence of love enmity increases by the exercise of love love strengthens and enmities dwindle away consider me in years of my advanced age burdened with physical infirmities crossing the wide ocean to look upon your faces it is my hope that through the life of the spirit you may all become as one soul as one tree adorning the rose garden of the kingdom it is my hope that the endless treasures of the bestowals of god may be yours here and hereafter it is my prayer that the supreme concourse may be illumined by your brilliant lights shining forever in the heavens of eternal glory four april thirteenth nineteen twelve at one forty one east twenty first street new york home of mr and mrs alexander morton notes by esther foster praise be to god this is a radiant gathering the faces are brilliant with the light of god the hearts are attracted to the kingdom of baha i beg of god that day by day your faces may become brighter day by day you may draw nearer to god day by day you may take a greater portion from the outpourings of the holy spirit so that you may become encircled by the bounties 
of heaven. The world spiritual is like unto the world phenomenal. They are the exact counterpart of each other. Whatever objects appear in this world of existence are the outer pictures of the world of heaven. When we look upon the phenomenal world, we perceive that it is divided into four seasons. One is the season of spring, another the season of summer, another autumn, and then these three seasons are followed by winter. When the season of spring appears in the arena of existence, the whole world is rejuvenated and finds new life. The soul-refreshing breeze is wafted from every direction. The soul-quickening bounty is everywhere. The cloud of mercy showers down its rain, and the sun shines upon everything. Day by day we perceive that the signs of vegetation are all about us. Wonderful flowers, hyacinths and roses perfume the nostrils. The trees are full of leaves and blossoms, and the blossoms are followed by fruit. The spring and summer are followed by autumn and winter. The flowers wither and are no more. The leaves turn gray and life has gone. Then comes another springtime. The former springtime is renewed. Again, a new life stirs within everything. The appearances of the manifestations of God are the divine springtime. When His Holiness Christ appeared in this world, it was like the vernal bounty, the outpouring descended, the effulgences of the merciful encircled all things. The human world found new life. Even the physical world partook of it. The divine perfections were upraised. Souls were trained in the school of heaven so that all grades of human existence received life and light. Then by degrees these fragrances of heaven were discontinued. The season of winter came upon the world. The beauties of spring vanished. The excellences and perfections passed away. The lights and quickening were no longer evident. The phenomenal world and its materialities conquered everything. The spiritualities of life were lost. The world of existence became like unto a lifeless body. There was no trace of the spring left. His Holiness, Baha'u'llah, has come into this world. He has renewed that springtime. The same fragrances are wafting. The same heat of the sun is giving life. The same cloud is pouring its rain. And with our own eyes, we see that the world of existence is advancing and progressing. The human world has found new life. I hope that each and all of you may become like unto verdant and green trees, so that through the breezes of the divine spring, the outpouring of heaven, the heed of the sun of truth, ye may become eternally refreshed, that you may bear blossoms and become fruitful, that you may not be as fruitless trees. Fruitless trees do not bring forth fruits or flowers. I hope that all of you may become friends of the paradise of Abha, appearing with the utmost freshness and spiritual beauty. I pray in your behalf and beg of God confirmation and assistance. End of section 2 Recording by Abu Jalal